Hello and welcome back guys, this is Trevor and today we are going to be playing an adventure map called The Floor is Lava. I'm sure you all can guess what's going to happen when I play the game from the name. Yeah, so let's read the info here. How to play. You start each level in a normal room with a countdown starting from 10. Use this time to get a lay of the land and plan your escape route. Once the countdown reaches zero, you're teleported to your starting place and the floor is turned into lava. Find the best escape route and parkour your way to victory. Secrets. There are five nether stars hidden throughout the levels. If you find them all, you win. Bragging rights, I guess. Other facts. The game is replayable, meaning you can play it as much as you want. There are sometimes graphical glitches causing the normal ground to look like lava. Don't worry, it's not. <laughs> Credit. Inspiration came from many sources, including Grand, Magma, Musen, and many more. Map made by the Redstone Near. Alright guys, so I guess I'm just going to look around a little. What are you doing here? Go play the game. I promise it. <laughs> Fine, now get out of here. Aw. Oh. Any hidden chests back here? I'm assuming they won't actually have the chest anywhere until you start the game, but you never know. There's nothing in there. Okay, so I'm going to assume I somehow jump up there, maybe? Ah, uh, on the carpet. Let's just hit play. Oh, this is the, uh... Oh, wow. Nope, I don't want you to stand. So. I guess we're getting right into it. Wow. Was there a chest on this? No. The button doesn't do anything, does it? Whoa. Whoa. Almost jumped too far. You have been given another star. The achievement get TV time. Trevor has stumbled upon the secret. Press buttons. I guess that should be the rule. Ow. Oh. Well. I didn't sprint. That was kind of cool. At least you don't have to like sit there and burn to death. Yeah. All right, this room is done. Okay, timer starts immediately. Looking okay, around. Oh, I, I, you start in the shower. How lovely. It doesn't do nothing. I'm just trying to find these uh, hidden secrets. Haha. Ha. Ah, too far. Well, that was pathetic. Oh, come on! I made you first time. Now you're gonna be a jerk? That's hard. I mean, how do I even get in there? Oh, come on. Apparently, I'm terrible at this. No wonder I never played in real life. No! That's such a hard jump. It was worth a shot. <gasps> I made it. Oh, shoot. I was given the star. Woohoo! All right. Okay, so I have to make it to there. Wow. That wasn't hard. 
the nether star is mine. Oh, look at that. It gave me more. I'm kind of confused. Can I just, like, keep getting... I guess I'm not supposed to go up there. This is a head jump thing, isn't it? <gasps> I made it. Now I gotta see something. I win! <laughs> How to get the five stars. Wait, where's the actual exit? Cake rules, really? The exit's over there, so I'm gonna have to jump on the cake. What? Ah, I hit the ceiling. Yep, there's the... Oh, dear. No! I keep hitting the stupid sea lanterns. I don't like head jumps. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> what does the sign say? Trophies? It's because I'm hitting the that. I'm not hitting the lamps. Can I just make this jump? I mean, I know four block jumps can be made. Oh, take that. I didn't do any of it. Are you kidding me? Beat me. Hey, back in the first level. I know this one's pretty obvious, but I felt bad for you. Wow. I don't get it. Ha! Woo, about fell off. I completed the game, and I got 21 nether stars. Well, now I'm going to look around a little bit from creative mode. I want to see behind the scene. Whoa. Well, that's it. That's the entire map in this little section. Well, I beat it. I didn't even have to cheat. As you guys know, sometimes I have to do. Even more nether stars. They should have put like a trophy room where you could like hang your stars up. That would have been smart. Well. Alright guys, I beat the map, so that's the end of the video. I will see you all in the next one. Have fun, take care, bye-bye.